Hello everybody. Today is Saturday, March the 28th, 2015. This is the Ellie Wave Outlook for the week ahead. Uh, just before going forward, please do pause the recording and read over our risk disclaimer. All right, let's jump right into the markets. As of late, we are in one open position. That open position is the Euro Aussie um, trade. So, so far, so well. Just up over 100 pips on the pair. Okay, uh, we got long at 1.3922. And originally, the stop loss was at 138.40. But since then, as prices favored in our direction, we have moved stops to break even. Okay, and um, going forward, we look for key prices, um, at least resistance levels, to uh, be breached, and for us allowing us to move our stop loss to um, next up at a, a positive 50, and we'll continue trailing towards those targets. As of late. For the Euro Aussie, we are in um, up about 120 pips, okay? Um, and the pair thus far, as it seems uh, from this chart, again, this is the four hour chart that we are at resistance. So we now look for the pair to slip and close above this resistance line at 140.60. And a four hour close above that area, we will then, or uh, will, uh, that will allow us and give color till this this bullish picture as we eye the range of 140.180 into that 144 marker and that 144 lying at that psychological the key psychological resistance area all right so that's the key for the euro Aussie and that's one pair that we do eye and we do like going into next week's session as we close out the month of March the first quarter and we enter the month of April on the other note is one or a couple key pairs that we think um, you guys should all focus on and keep a close eye on. One being the U.S. dollar index. The U.S. dollar index is trapped within this triangle. It is trapped within this range. And we look for at least a ABC move, WXY, into that measured move into the 161.8% Fibonacci extension. Okay, So those that's the favored, the preferred move but let's keep a close eye on this range okay because if we do break and close to the top side then the alternative count will come into play and we will look for a new highs if we do break as we favor to the downside then the key levels noted uh, prior will become in play alright so downside move is favored but in our opinion, wait for that breakout to get confirmation, okay? Now, the euro dollar is indeed the inverse of the dollar index, and the euro dollar is focusing and seeing a trend line support, which is not too far away, okay? 108.40 into that 108.90 area. As long as prices stay above this area, then we will focus on key continued upside moves into that 122.40, into that 116 area, which is very similar in that it lies in that 100% extension into that 161.8% Fibonacci extension as well. If you're wondering what is the Fib in between, that is the 123.6% extension, okay? So um, three big fibs that we do like. And as long as, again, we stay above this key floor, upside is preferred. But if we do break to the downside, focus and attention comes to new lows south of 104.60. Now, though I may not be... Uh, play this euro dollar into the open one pair I am keeping a close eye on is the pound dollar as the pound dollar continues to remain stuck within this range and again shows very similar setup to that of the pound dollar key support 10 148.40 um, 
top side as of late that is okay 149.60 worth noting as prices continue um, if prices continue in range this key support and resistance area will begin to tighten a little more so those ranges will change but key breakout is ideal and if we do end up taking this trade we will post it in our um, chat room send it to you guys via email etc okay but in terms of trade setups daily just um, go to the trade setups area and see what um, trades we are keeping a close eye on or just click on the members areas tab and scroll see the different videos as we speak about different trade setups um, daily okay all you can do is jump in the chat room and access what we think about any particular pair that you are uh, keeping focus on all right. Um, other than that, we also have the euro pound. Okay, euro pound is actually one um, really gaining a lot of our attention. So traders, please do jump in the chat room um, into the open next week or tomorrow around five Eastern time as. Uh, we eye not only euro pound but a couple others. Euro pound is of interest because it has slipped to the top side and is now testing the resistance now turn support. On the daily chart, okay, the euro pound very similar except that it just looks a lot cleaner on the daily, okay? And we had this nice back test thus far. The euro pound has been beaten for quite some time, okay? Um, you're talking about a southbound uh, move ever since um, the high uh, at December 2008, right? So, in my opinion, needs some alleviation. We really don't have no bullish momentum divergence just yet, but we do like some of the action that we have recently seen in the pair um, from the early wave standpoint. And once we start to mix it with the Ichimoku, we see that we had the uh, um, Tenkin Kijin crossover to the top side, okay, and then actually I, I believe we also called out this trade if I'm not mistaken um, this month. Let's look at the trade log. We did. 7188 because yeah I was saying that <laughs> 7188 is our entry. We closed it out at 7304 for plus 116. Um, so it looks like it got a lot higher than that. Well, around current prices, 7310. We closed it at 73. Uh, let's look at it again. 7304. Um, so still a great trade. Um, the high was 73.82, so not too far away, and we still believe it could go higher, okay? And we also are above the 4-hour Ichimoku cloud, and on the daily, we have now seen the bullish taking Kijin cross uh, for the first time that we've seen a crossover since um, December 2014, all right? So a couple of big notices on the Ichimoku, looking at it from the various standpoints. Um, so... Uh, we'll focus on that, and if we do take the trade, we'll let you guys know, but this setups remain valid, and we'll update the trade setup tab um, into the um, next couple hours. Alright guys, so we'll end off there. I want to thank you all for watching the Elliott Wave Outlook for the week ahead. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email us at info at globaleffectsclub.com or you can Skype us. Our Skype handle is Global FX Club or jump in the chat room as well and ask us any questions that you may have. If you want us to cover a particular pair, feel free to email us the pairs that you like covered and we'll be happy to do so. Cheers everyone and good luck trading.